The headlines, INEC to resume denormalized recall as Senator heads to Supreme Court. Christian Association of Nigeria donates relief materials to Nasara IDPs. Former Catholic priest weds in Akwa Ibom. Welcome to the AM News on Television Nigeria. I am Anthony Momodu. The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, would continue with the process for the recall of Senator Dino Milai in line with the judgment of the Court of Appeal. The Director of Publicity and Voter Education for the Electoral Body, Uluwale Osaze Uzi, stated that the Commission would continue with the recall process since all legal hurdles have been cleared by the ruling of the appeal court in Abuja. Three appeal court judges led by Justice Tunde Awutoi on Friday in Abuja dismissed the appeal filed by the embattled Senator Dino Milai against the judgment delivered by Justice Namdi Dingba on his recall process at the Federal High Court in 2017 on grounds that there was no cause of action. Dino Milai, who faulted the judgment on Friday, hours after it was delivered, vowed to appeal the ruling at the Supreme Court. The lawmaker noted that he would not be intimidated by the ruling and that he would continue to fight for the cause of justice in Kogi State and the nation in general. Christian Association of Nigeria can Nasara State Chapter on Saturday donated relief materials to internally displaced persons in the state. In a statement while making the donations to IDPs in Obi local government area, the state chairman of the Christian Association of Nigeria, Joseph Massin, stated that they were not only there to distribute relief materials, but to also share in the pains of the IDPs and identify with them. The CAN chairman used the occasion to call on the federal government to drop the idea of cattle colonies and adopt ranching system as the only way to curtail headsmen farmers' crisis. He also advised the IDPs not to take laws into their hands and urge the security agencies to always be proactive rather than reactive. After the break, former Kakli priest words in Akwa Ibom. Thanks for staying tuned. Former Kakli priest and on-air personality Patrick Edet finally entered matrimony when he wedded his hat job in a colorful event on Saturday in Uyo Akwaibon State. Family, friends and loved ones all turned up to witness the wedding between Iyeni Samson Akman and the former cleric Patrick Edet, who announced his resignation from Kakli priesthood on the 2nd of August 2017 during his radio program Grace and Inspiration. The former Reverend Father Patrick Edith called it quits with the Catholic priesthood after 11 years of service, stating that he felt boxed in as a Catholic priest and it was affecting his personal relationship with God. To some entertainment stories. Zimbabwe has crowned its first ever Miss Albino in a beauty pageant that aims to tackle the stigma faced by people with the rare skin disorder. The winner, 22-year-old social worker and student, Sitembiso Mutukura, received a cash prize of $85. The event organizers, Brenda Mudizimu, who personally donated the cash prize, criticized Zimbabwe's government 
and the private sector for not supporting the initiative. People with albinism face discrimination and violence in many African countries where superstition says that their body parts possess magical powers. On sports, Chelsea goalkeeper Tebois Koutoua has insisted he would stay at the club beyond this summer despite not signing a new deal. The 25-year-old Belgian has only one year left on his current deal but is yet to sign a new contract at the Stamford Bridge. Cotua, who posted a poor performance as Chelsea lost 3-0 to Barcelona in their Champions League round of 16 tie in midweek, has been linked with a move to Real Madrid and he admits he is not happy with the speculation. Chelsea face Leicester City on Sunday in FA Cup quarterfinals. And on the foreign scene, Mauritius president Emina Gurub Fakim who has been implicated in a financial scandal, resigned on Saturday, just days after she refused to stand down. Guru Fakim, Africa's only female head of state, submitted her resignation in the national interest and according to her lawyer, Yusuf Muhammad, the resignation would take effect from the 23rd of March. To end the news, a recap of the major stories. INEC to resume denormalized recall as Senator heads to Supreme Court. Christian Association of Nigeria donates relief materials to Nasara IDPs. Former Catholic priest weds in Akwa Ibom. That's the news at this hour, but before I go, I leave you with this thought. The man with imagination is never alone and is never finished. Thanks for staying tuned. I am Anthony Momodu, wishing you a beautiful day ahead.